What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Moto WordPress Teams and in today's video you're gonna learn how to call a sidebar into your pages or posts using Elementor Website Builder Free WordPress Plugin. So let me start ex explaining what is a sidebar, okay? Here is the Wikipedia page. Can you see this left side of my screen? with contents. Right here we have overview, themes, plugins, mobile applications, accessibility. This is a sidebar present into this content page, okay? So sidebar is a very useful element for display ads, navigations, search, categories, other meta information. So sidebars are very common in every single site and you may need to call one into one of your pages, for example, okay? So let's learn how to do this into your WordPress website using Elementor plugin. But before I can continue, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like this video and share this content with a friend of yours. I have no idea how much that helps us because it brings daily videos about WordPress, SEO, plugins, optimizations and many, many more topics in our choose international sites favor. So let's get this started. Very first thing to do is locate the page there where you would like to apply your sidebar. I'm gonna go for my WordPress dashboard, left sidebar of menus, hover my mouse over page and click on add new. Right here, I'm gonna click into edit with Elementor, but before we can start creating our sidebar, let me go back a little step and still on the WordPress left sidebar of menus, hover my mouse over appearance and click on widgets, okay? Why we come back right here? Because sidebars on WordPress display widgets. And what are widgets? Widgets are contents blocks where you can apply to display pieces of content. For example, imagine that right here we have all of those contents right here, all of those blocks right here, or tabs, are populated with side with widgets or blocks. So as you can see into this sidebar tab, we have a uh, search widget, recent posts widget, recent comments. Let me delete this repeated one. Let me also delete this one. So, as you can see, we have some options and in the case that I click into add new, I can apply more ones, for example, YouTube videos. I can just need to I just need to enter with the video URL right here. Okay, so this is a widget and I'm gonna populate my sidebars with widgets, okay? Do this with yours before calling it into your page, okay? So let's go back. Go to page, add new. Just don't forget to hit to the update button before leaving the page as I did, okay? So let's go to page, add new. Click on edit with Elementor in order to load the Elementor editor. Right here, we're gonna click into this plus button and choose one of the columns layout. I would like this one right here, okay? But of course, you can customize the size of the column in the way that you want, okay? or we can move this to the other side of the screen, just like this, okay? Then we're gonna click into this plus button and from the left sidebar of menus, call it elements, we're gonna search for sidebar. Right here, I'm gonna click into this widget, drag it and drop wherever I want. I can place the sidebar right here or into this other column right here. As we can see onto the Wikipedia page, sidebars used to take one third of the page. So let's place this into the little column. Right now, I'm gonna need to choose the sidebar. Remember, when we was on appearance widgets, we were populating the, the tab called sidebar. But on your team, it may have another name, for example, the full, first sidebar, anything like this, okay? So in this, Visual Moto team, it's called sidebar. So I can select this one. And as you can see, all of the widgets previously added into our appearance page are present right here on our page. And we have this other section to populate with other content styles, okay? And start building our website with the sidebar. Simple, easy, and effective. And it is. 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. Don't forget to check out our Borders WordPress plugin in order to gain more widgets, elements, templates and tools to build up your site using Elementor or Blocks Editor, okay? Moreover, in the case that you are in need of the best free WordPress theme, go to your WordPress dashboard, appearance, themes, add new, search for Ayanzu WordPress theme, click on install and activate it. You're gonna be amazed about how many features this theme offers for free. Moreover, in the case that you want to receive or publish guest posts on your site, just go to growth with 3 wsnet submit your site, you're gonna gain a backlink to your site and of course connect with a bigger bloggers community in order to exchange posts, okay? Moreover, and as a final note, see, in the case that you want your site up and running faster, go to visualmoto.com, purchase the Visual Moto Pass and unlock access to our full templates library of pre-built websites that you can import with a single click to make your site look like one of those pre-built sites, change logo and have a ready site from the beginning for almost every business niche. Moreover, you're gonna gain premium blogs, premium templates, premium icons and access to our full support in order to get help while you're doing your site. And it is. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I see you tomorrow. All the best!